Kelly Jackson, and I'm the second generation owner of Hank's Mini Market. I wanted to create a peaceful place for people to shop, and I wanted it to be bright and open and airy. I wanted our corner to pop. I wanted it to be inviting. I wanted us to have a space that looked like it was on the west side here in South Central. I wanted to push this conversation of that our community, no matter what neighborhood you lived in, that you deserve a better shopping experience, that you deserve to have plenty of different choices and options towards the kinds of products and, and food and produce that you have at your corner store. In our community, sometimes we don't have enough of those kinds of spaces. And so I really wanted to show up in that way. I'm just super proud of my dad in 1997, deciding that he wanted to own his own business within our community. Most people were disinvesting from the community. And I'm really proud of my dad for investing and coming in and saying that he wanted to be proud to be of ownership of his business and, and really help clean up this corner. I could have went anywhere else and started up my career in arts or business, but all my studies, all the work and research that I did over the years always circled back to Hanks. And what I realized is that I had this opportunity and this gift in front of me, and that my true impact, my true purpose is to create and innovate here at Hanks. The impact this woman and this store has had on my life. Nine months ago, I pushed a shopping cart. Today, I'm getting qualified to buy a home. There's beautiful work being done here at Hanks. And just like Charles' story, it's Hanks' story. It's the story of South Central Los Angeles. We have tough times, we have ups and downs, but that doesn't mean that we need to give up. We should keep going and we should continue to encourage each other. So today we're gonna make a healthy meal together with some really simple ingredients, a whole bunch of stuff that I got right here. And it's a really simple and easy and quick meal that we can make and share with our family and feel really good about it when we have it. I was very adamant about having a community space within the shopping experience because there's a lack of community spaces. And it was very important for me to use our space as a part of the solution. Hanks is an example of a Black-owned business in our community that thrives as a business and that does good for the community. Kelly is definitely one of the community leaders. You know, she is a trailblazer, to say the least. I think that a lot of the other shop owners, or at least I hope, will follow her lead and put more investment in the community. Her service to this community is an example to others in the community. The fact that she is sewing uh, healthy food, education courses, access to art, is really continuing her father's vision of supporting the place that he loved and the people whom he, who he loved. Whenever I come in here, Kelly gives me a hug. I say hi. Carter, she's seven now, and she's grown up in the space but what I love about Carter in the space too, like she sees this as her own space. At seven, she already thinks that she can run her own store. She has the opportunity to come behind the counter and ring up her parents. She can recognize at a young age that if she wants to own her own business, that her dreams can come true. This is my purpose, to be creative and innovative and push the conversation of what a corner store can be. This is my canvas and I'm able to do those things. I just enjoy it. <laughs>